Tonraku is finally here on Grand Summoners Global, and man, this guy's already making quite a mess of the scene. So in this video, we're going to be telling you all about it from team comps to how good he is to just overall viability of this unit. Also, huge shout out to my man Caleb for allowing me to do the showcase. Without him, it wouldn't be possible. So what is this man Sunraku about? He's arch ginning, he does tons of damage, he's really good on the debuffing side, and he has some pretty good passives that kind of help him out in more of that supporting role. His main one that you want to look out for is unique passive that actually provides damage res to fire units, which isn't beneficial whenever he's on, you know, multi-element teams. But if you're on mono fire, then hey, you're looking pretty good. In terms of the kit, like I mentioned before, debuffs and arch gin. The skill gives you arts. If you crit with the skill, you get more art gauge. The art gives you physical res and evasion rate down on the enemy. The true art, which is one of your bread and butters, you're going to be using this all the time, gives you a crit res debuff and gives you six arts per second to the entire team, which is very, very strong. Mind you, this is type E arch gen, so he will not stack with other type E arch geners. And his super art is just absolutely insane. Buffing up your own crit by 100% gives you 50% more super crit rate during your super art, and it also buffs up your attack by 50% every time you use it, all the way up to 200%, which the attack buff is kind of whatever. The main thing you're looking at here, though, is the super crit rate along with the huge multiplier. Dude hits freaking hard. As for his slots, he has a 5-star physical, 5-star support, and a 4-star physical. In terms of best in slot for the 5-star physical, you want to be using anything that's going to be giving him art gauge and sustain comps, or you want to be using something that's going to be buffing up his damage in nuking compositions. For the 5-star support, if you're in sustain, AoE arch and items, but limbs, clothes, Goku uniform, even the new one that came out from his crossover isn't necessarily too bad, but you can still use it, his bandana. All of that stuff will be insanely good. If you don't have that in sustain, don't worry. You can always opt in for a lesser demon heart or if you were here during Tensura, make sure you make use of the sealed mass you farmed. As for nuking compositions, you know, it's the usual here, ladies and gentlemen. Type 0 or you're going with Axis. You're picking one or the other and you're going to be having a great time. For the 4-star physical, if you're in sustain, highly recommend that you go something like B3 Claw or you can go with the Blaze Coil if you're using him in more nuking compositions or you can rock out with any other 4-star physical that's going to be buffing up your damage or attack for the whole team, whatever the case may be. And now as for the crest slots on this guy, let me tell you right now, he actually has a few options and you can go with quite a bit i would first and foremost pick attack up and arc gauge up and as for the last one i would decide between one of the damage up crest so something like pofg crit damage up or the other one i can't remember right now is it curse frost i'm pretty sure it's curse frost and you already know we can't do a showcase without showing off the animations for this unit and if i'm not mistaken a lot of its animations are relatively quick so we have his attack skill first as you see just a few slices looks cool we have his skill here which is a little bit of a charge a little bit of a slice right there we have the arc Art, which is actually we're going to see this later on too. the kind of twirl the tornado in front of him we have the true art just a bunch of stabs a bunch of slices it looks okay and then we have his super art the twirl it's kind of a mixture of like everything to an extent kind of right one thing i will take note of is how fast this super art is look how fast this is look boom instantly bop bop boom. like that's it like that is extremely quick which means in nukes this guy goes crazy bro that's one thing that's like really good about all of his um animations actually like even his true art animation here is very very quick like look as soon as you press it as soon as you activate it boom he's instantly doing it and he's applying his crit res debuff unlike a character like Ainz for an example where the crit res debuff takes a minute to come out since he has to do his whole chant but with Sunraku it's like as soon as you flick up on that true art to get the crit res debuff going it's boom instant like you're gonna have it which is so freaking good um in nuke situations just in general it's just a really good thing to have especially if you're applying a debuff for it to be instantaneous because you want that to be as fast as you can get it so overall like you know in terms of like looks wise and stuff i don't actually think his animations look that cool uh, i'm just gonna be honest i think like at most this is like a five out of ten but in terms of like usability and gameplay it's pretty much a 10 out of 10. Team compositions. Due to his ability to just be this all-out art shinner in sustain, he's able to work with so many characters. One of my favorite teams that we actually ran during this recording was a team that was consisting of Shiro, Emiya, Sinki, Sonraku, and also Haruto. Insanely, insanely good. This team has everything from multitudes of damage res, tons of attack buffs, physical res down, crit res debuffs down, and also Haruto just healing the team like crazy. Of course, if you want to run more of a mono fire team, you can easily do that with Sunraku because he provides so much to the team. One of the best combos actually with him for Mono Fire will be coming out very soon, which is going to be Sunraku and Valentine's Day Priscilla. As I mentioned too, the Mono Fire setup with Sunraku is just going to get better as time goes on, since we're going to be getting characters like Summer Iris that provides tons of damage or passively to fire units. 
Plus, also, it's just absolutely crazy with the amount of buffs she provides. What about the nuking steps, right? If you wanted to nuke with this guy, what's the team comp that I really enjoyed nuking with? And that was actually the mono fire team, or pretty much mono fire. It was mono fire with um, Forte also involved. And this setup involved the men, Sunraku, Gabby Maru, surprisingly, and also Chloe. Damage on this team is absolutely insane, and it happens so quickly because everyone has such fast animations. As you see here, we fought against B3, and B3 doesn't have like the craziest HP. We went off with everybody's super arts, and of course, Gabi Maru's true art buffed up everyone's damage like wild, and you will see that this man, B3, just crumbled in front of these two. As you see the damage charts right there, Sunraku with 4.5 million, Gabi Maru with 1.3 million. We go fight the Shangri-La Special EX, and uh, it was pretty much the same story, but now the damage is just absolutely insane. Just uh, like, what is happening? Happens in four seconds, extremely quick, and we look at the damage charts, ladies and gentlemen, what is this? Sunraku. Raku and Gabi Maru both hitting for 6 million in seconds, in a matter of seconds, boys. And then, of course, we had to do the last one against poor old Radok. Radok didn't stand a chance at all, man. I mean, the dude's getting a little bit up there in age, you know what I'm saying? And just doesn't have as much of an HP pool as other characters nowadays. And if you look at the damage charts, as you see, still pretty impressive, but this is what we've come to expect when you use this lineup. So nuking-wise, Sonoraku, fantastic character. One of the best in the game, easily. But when it comes to sustain, is it still the same? And for the most part, it kind of is. So we did the newest boss fight in the game. This is chapter 21's boss fight, if I'm not mistaken. And we utilize this team here with the Shiro, the Sinki, the Sunraku, the Haruto, what I was telling you guys earlier. This boss died so freaking quick. This is the fastest I've ever seen his HP bar just get depleted like this in the first wave. Usually like the first round or his first threshold. It's a little bit dicey sometimes depending on the team comp you're using, but literally with Sunraku, it's like, nope. Um, He just kind of destroys it instantly. And it's wild too because I don't even think this is his best team comp. I personally don't believe we're seeing Sunraku at his peak. Seeing the damage that he's already doing is just ridiculous to me. So yeah, pretty much this boss didn't stand a chance against us. Even whenever he put up the crit res, it did not matter whatsoever because whenever Sunraku used his super art, guess what? Sunraku can actually crit even with that. Since he's lowered the boss's crit res, he's buffing up his own crit rate by 100%. He's able to get over the boss's monstrous crit res with that. He's literally like his own engine and I love that so much. Look at the damage charts. Jesus! 27 million with Sunraku like it's nothing. And then as for the last fight we did, we did Emmy. I mean, we all knew how this was going to go. Emmy just got absolutely decimated by Sunraku. Dude did stupid damage and just went off. Man's an absolute goat. But yeah, there's not really too many negatives to say about Sunraku. All around, the man is just broken. Uh, the worst thing about him is that he's type E Archshin. Um, if he was something like type F or just another Archshin didn't have as many characters in it, that would be really beneficial because one of the main issues that I actually saw was the fact that him and Chloe don't actually stack Archshin together, which if they did, that would be insane, but they don't, which, you know, kind of sucks. Apart from that, this guy's literally just another War God Finn. Like, that's what you have on your hands right here whenever you use this character. Really good art shin, really good debuffs, very strong super art, good in pretty much every piece of content in the game. You'll always be able to find a use for him, especially in your mono fire teams. He just gets even better. And yeah, I mean, what can you say? I'm not even a Shingle on Frontier fan, but they really did the man on Raku a lot of justice. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, man. Thank you all for hanging out. It's me, Bro P. Tell me down below what you guys think about Sun Raku. You think this guy's insanely strong? Do you think he's worth the crystals or what? Really, the worst part about this unit, another bad part about him is that he's releasing right before Star God Lisa. Literally star god lisa is like a month away but still you know he, he's definitely worth the summon at least he's worth a multi bare minimum hopefully you get him within that multi because uh, i didn't get nothing <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you all again for coming out and last not least you guys already know don't forget to drink water